today is the day that we are going to give Mr. Lucas his hands. I gotta go over and do some work across the street first with his coop. We uh, enclosed the yard yesterday, so I'll show you that before too long. But, yup, it's gonna happen. Hopefully it goes well. What we did yesterday is put this, this plastic stuff inside because over here you can see these openings are just too big and we also enclose the entire top in this netting and it's going to look just fine. We used up all the rest of it so now it's time for me to go clean up this coop out here, add some more bedding and get things ready. All right, all that I've done is put down a layer, a big block of that pine shavings. There's some hay or straw back in there too. Got a whole bunch back here so they'll have plenty of bedding material. Now it's time for the hens. Hopefully Mr. Cockadoo doesn't chase him around too bad. <laughs> He's so pretty. All right, we're out in the yard. I brought two trays of tuna for them and they've already been given some corn and some grains and some, oh, I don't know, lettuce, cantaloupe. There's Mr. Cockadoo right out there. Not sure what he's going to do, but I'm going to sit here and relax and hopefully there will be no bloodshed. This is a great yard. This is perfect. See that? It's all covered and connected, so I may try to eventually do something like this with mine. And they've got a little nesting box over there. We probably put, should put some more bedding in it, but they are getting acclimated and they seem pretty happy. All right. No, one of the barred rocks looks like they want to go in. She's investigating. Not sure. No, nope, she's not going to do it. Not yet. Not yet. Mr. Cockadoo doesn't want to come out. He keeps looking out there, looking at the girls. I'll just wait. I'll keep waiting. I put a little pan of tuna out here, so maybe that'll entice him. Otherwise, the girls are just making themselves at home. Look at this one. She knows somebody's up there. Yep, she's looking. She's looking. Oh, he's not coming out. I'll just keep waiting. Ooh, would you look at that? These barred rocks getting, getting brave. That's right, girlfriend. You're doing great. There's Mr. Lucas. Say hi, Mr. Lucas. Hi. I brought some tuna. I put one right down there to see if uh, Mr. Cockadoo would come out. He hasn't come out yet, but he's been checking them out. Yep. One up there a while ago and she was looking at him. Yep. All right. Here we go. I've got them all four in here. Let's see what happens. Mr. Cockadoo did not like it when his hens were distressed. I, when I was chasing him around trying to get him in here, he started making that sound that Romeo makes. She's happy up there. I needed to kind of expedite this because I want them to learn this is where they need to go to rest at night. All the other girls are down there. They're a little bit stressed, but that's just because I was chasing them around and I got them all in here and the door's blocked off. They can't get out. Of course, I'm going to open it, but they need to learn where their roost is. one happy hen. I'm just going to back off because I think actually my presence is upsetting Mr. Cockadoo. So I'm just going to go back here and see what happens. All right. There's one of the leghorns up there roosting right next to Mr. Cockadoo and he seems to be a little bit calmer now that I backed off. Look at her all happy perched up there. This is great. Hey, Mr. Lucas, 
I put them all in there. Yeah, take a look. Well, just one of them. The other three girls are down in the corner. But he was up there. Mr. Lucas, I got to tell you, he got upset when I was chasing the hens around and they were making their little squawking noise. He got up and he was like, don't hurt my hens. He made that sound like, nope, I got to stay out here. Don't worry about me, Mr. Lucas. I'm fine. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> hi. hi. I'm fine. I'm just going to supervise. Uh, in a little bit, I got to go back. I got to get that grit for you. And uh, I got to let my chickens out before too long. But I'll give you a call before I go let my chickens out so you know I've gone. And when I leave, I'll leave that door open so they can go in and out. Look at They're fine. They're all up there. Yup. They're all up there. I'm just going. Mr. Cockerby, I'll well, back off. They're all doing just fine. Look at Mr. Cockadoo just looking at him. The other one's up roosting over there. Yep. I think everything's going to be just fine. I'm back home now. I sat out there most of the day, but it was starting to get really cold. And Mr. Cockadoo the rooster is doing really great. He's doing great with the new hens. He's not exhibited any kind of aggressive behavior at all. And um, I may have said this in, an, in another clip, but I'm going to say it again. I was uh, wrangling them up to get them to go into the coop so that they would know where they need to roost at night. Um, and I blocked them all in there and they did a little bit of squawking while I was doing that. They didn't like it too much. And Mr. Cockadoo rose up and he just did his little ca, -ca you know, that kind of sound that they make. He was not happy. I was mishandling his hens. So he's claimed his flock and it's all going to be just great. So yes, it made me feel very good. I've been waiting so long to be able to do this, to be able to take those hens over to Mr. Lucas. And I think they're going to work out just fine. Hopefully the leghorn will start laying for him soon because that will be a double blessing. So, yes, Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you are all doing well. And I love you all. And I'll see you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.